Hi everyone, I am Ida Miram and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel and you are interested in developing your spiritual gifts and connecting with your guides, I suggest you subscribe below and also click the notification bell to be notified when any of my new videos are up. Now to today's video. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is the English version of my previous video, the video that I owed you guys. And I owed you guys this video for All Souls Day. I apologize that I couldn't upload it earlier, but I was feeling a little bit under the weather, so I was unable to bring you the English version. But nevertheless, I bring it to you guys today. As you know, I had uploaded a video previously in regards to how to take care of your ancestors and how to take care of your deceased loved ones. So this video is more based on All Souls Day, but I know you all know how to take care of your ancestors, what services you offer them on All Souls Day. Basically, what you do on this day is offer them their favorite foods, just like you would do on a Monday, as I mentioned before. Give them their coffee, light their candles. But on this specific day, All Souls Day, we go to the cemetery, take them flowers, offer them bread whatever it is that your loved one loved while they were alive that is what you give them and also say and also you add in there a little bit of prayer to help them elevate one thing that i was taught to do and i learned this by watching my mother on every all souls day which is november 2nd is that my mother used to light nine candles she used to light these candles for her mother her father and any other family member that had passed she would offer one specific candle for each of them whether it was less than nine but always completed with the nine so this is a day to remember all of them again even though i always say there is no specific day because it's so important to remember them. It's so important to not forget them. We have that connection with them. We can still speak to them. This is so, so important for them to know that we remember them, that we acknowledge them, that we are here because of them, that we are on the spiritual path because of them. So it is so important to remember them. And I'm always letting you guys know that our family members that have passed on, are just a thought of way that anytime you think of them immediately there's a connection that takes place a connection of thought thought is vibration when you think about a loved one they hear you I have had many sittings where I have the client right in front of me and I ask my client to send a message to that loved one we're communicating with and then I ask the spirit to reply and when I tell my client the answer they just start crying because they can hear us. It doesn't matter where we are, what we're doing. I always say incorporate them in your happy moments, your difficult times, incorporate them. When you have a certain celebration, think of them. When you're experiencing difficult situations in your life because they are there to help us, incorporate them. Speak to them mentally. Bless me. Help me. With whatever situation you're going through, ask them to help you. Especially if their expertise was in that certain area, as I mentioned in my previous video. Ask them for advice. Ask them for their blessing. You must remember that they walked this path prior to us, before we even thought of existing. They know about financial problems. They know about health problems. They know about love problems. And they can help us. Especially if they had certain knowledge in these areas they can help you and as i mentioned in that video in particular i mentioned and a lot of people were laughing because i said do not ask an uncle that had no idea how to manage money about financial advice and this is true because they retain the experiences that they lived here you know those people they say that's an old soul because of their wisdom so that's a soul that you reach out to for advice we acquire experiences through our incarnations. So you can direct your questions, let's say to your mother, to your father, just because they are gone physically does not mean they no longer care about you. Love transcends any spiritual veil. I wake up in the morning and I say good morning to my mother, to my father, I ask for their blessing, I thank God. And after some time of doing this, 
you will receive their answers. Spirit can communicate in so many ways. Yes, we sit in front of our ancestors' altar because we're calm and immediately we're telling our mind that this is a moment of quietness, of peace, that I'm relaxed and I'm ready to receive messages. But this does not limit you. You can connect with your deceased family members at any time. Think of them. Send them love and light. Light them a candle, a glass of water on Mondays, or any day that you feel the urge to do so. Buy them flowers. If you live in a state where they were buried, do not forget them. Take them flowers. I take my mom and dad flowers all the time because I want them to know that I still remember them and that they are still a part of our family. Do not just say they're gone and that is it. They will never be gone. Because I bet you, if at any time you find yourself in any kind of danger, they will help you. We have heard stories from all over the world of people that have been saved. Women that have been saved by husbands that had passed on. So you see, they're always around. They always have our best interests at heart. Do not forget them. Speak to them. Tell them you love them and that you remember them. And All Souls Day is just to remind everybody that our family members that have crossed over still exist in the spiritual world. They will never cease to exist. And it's also a day for remembrance because there's a lot of people that live a very busy life. So they do not take that time out. So this specific day is for everyone to come together and celebrate their memory. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a last minute because as you all know, I was not feeling too well. Thank you all for your prayers. I have some more videos coming up for you guys. And I look forward to bringing more and more content this year. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when my videos are up. I love you guys. God bless you. May the Lord in the Gede bless you and your family. Much love and light.